You know how there's that old saying about keeping your mouth shut among a group of people and have everybody think you're a fool rather than opening your mouth and proving to everybody you're a fool? Yeah, that old saying kind of applies to a bunch of people after Pink Floyd unveiled their logo for the 50th anniversary of the Dark Side of the Moon album this week. Pink Floyd unveiled the logo on social media and you have a bunch of people losing their shit at the fact that it's got a rainbow included inside the zero. Because as we all know, the rainbow was first invented in 1875 by French philosopher Guy Boutsex in order to showcase every single colour of skin he was willing to sleep with, up to and including indigo and violet people. But in all seriousness, a bunch of people made absolute asses of themselves complaining. Because if you know anything at all about Pink Floyd, this was the cover to Dark Side of the Moon. Do you notice anything familiar? Yeah. And it's ironic because there was a common element to the comments of people losing their shit about woke bullshit and LGBT propaganda being forced upon everybody else. When the irony is these supposedly anti-woke people are behaving like the people they're trying to complain about. Now, it's a rather silly thing to complain about regardless because, hey, if a band wants to stand with the LGBT plus community, who gives a crap? It's 2023. It's perfectly okay to stand with the LGBT plus community and advertise that fact. It ain't harming you any. It ain't taken away from you any. But regardless, how stupid do you have to be to call yourself a Pink Floyd fan, throw your toys at something that resembles a rainbow, and further throw your toys not knowing what the rainbow color symbolizes? I'm not even a big Pink Floyd fan and immediately I knew what it was when I looked at it. It's kind of funny because I do find there are an increasing number of people online who claim to be anti-woke and behave just like the people they complain about. Because this is just a silly non-issue to be kicking up a stink about. Like it keeps saying, dude. If you're a Pink Floyd fan, then you should know the relevance of the new logo. I'm not even a big Pink Floyd fan, and I knew what it was. So to reiterate my problems, two prong. One, it's a stupid thing to lose your shit about. And two, if you're a Pink Floyd fan, you should have understood the relevance of what the rainbow was. How dumb can you be? And just throwing it out there before I wrap this one up. Man, this has been a short video. But before I wrap this one up, I'm just going to throw out there because I had a short earlier this week where I ripped on boomers for claiming to be more educated than the rest of us while failing at spelling online. It's funny how a lot of these people that were complaining were from the supposedly we never get offended generation. So if the younger generation is so soft then how come the younger generation aren't the ones that were getting uppity about a rainbow? Moreover, these people were probably around back then when Dark Side of the Moon came out, so the fact that they couldn't put two and two together and understand the homage is really just sad, dude. How are you going to be offended by something as simple as a rainbow, which was meant to symbolize a light hitting a prism in the first place? It's not meant to symbolize being gay, it's meant to symbolize, hey, here's what happens when light hits a prism. Basic science. You can't claim that you're not easily offended, you can't claim you're anti-woke, you can't claim that you're an absolute hard-ass when you're being offended by a band unveiling a tribute to their work turning 50. It's not anything to do with the gay community, and even if it was, who gives a shit? Does it affect the music in any way, shape, or form? No. So thank you to a bunch of idiots on social media once again turning something, which isn't an issue, into an issue. And surprisingly, it's not the ones most people would expect it to be. Damn, that's gonna suck, don't it? I'm Damien Skyfire. See you next time.